Welcome. All right. So what we have is the focus is 2 comma 4 and the direct is x equals 10. And what we need to do is write the standard form of the equation of this parabola. Uh, to do that, though, we have to be able to determine is this parabola going to have a vertical axis symmetry or a horizontal axis symmetry. And to do that, we first need to plot the information that we have. Now, what's so important about the axis symmetry, not only does it tell us what equation that we're going to be right, but it also is going to help us find the vertex. Because remember that the vertex and, um, the vertex and the focus all lie on that axis of symmetry. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the focus, which is 1, 2, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I see my directrix is at x equals 10. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm just going to draw a nice dotted line here. All right. So now what we can see in this case is the distance from my vertex to my directrix, OK, um, you can see is going to be a distance of 6. Now, Remember, when we look at just kind of like the parent graph here of one parabola, we have the focus is always inside of my parabola, and the directrix is that exact same distance. If that's p, then this distance is negative p. So what, what's important about this is the distances are exactly the same. One's in a positive, one's in a negative direction. But what this will help us out, what it will tell me is, one, my axis of symmetry is going to be perpendicular to my directrix. And not only is it going to be perpendicular to my directrix, but it's also going to go through the focus as well as the vertex. So therefore, I know that my axis symmetry runs through, the point, the, runs through my po point, the focus, which is 2 comma 4, as well as going to go through my vertex. So there's my focus. And Here's my directrix. OK, so what's important also to notice is the, the vertex is also half the distance between my focus and my directrix. You can see the distance from this vertex is the same to the focus as it is to the directrix. So if I have my distance, the total distance here is 6. Therefore, my, my vertex then has to be in the middle of that, so it's going to be Three units to the right of my focus, one, two, three. And three units to the left, well, let's hold on. That's at two. Oh, shoot, that's more than that. It's eight, right? That's at two. I miscounted. So one, two. So therefore, it's going to be one, two, three, four. So it's going to be four units to the right of my focus and four units to the left of my directrix. One, two, three, four. Perfect. OK. So now when I, when again, determining what the equation is going to be, we need to look at this and say, all right, since remember the focus is always inside of my parabola, so therefore my parabola is going to look something like this, all right? Where the distance of p, you can see, is going to the left, so it's going to be negative. So p equals negative 4. And so where the distance from here is going to be a positive 4 because we're going to the right from the vertex. But what's important is now I know my axis symmetry is horizontal, I'm going to use this equation x minus sorry, y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. So what's important about this now is now I need to make sure I identify for my h and k, which will be my vertex. So I know that it lies on the axis of symmetry. So therefore, my y coordinate is still going to be 4. But now it's going to be 4 over from my focus. So that's going to be um, 6 comma 4. So now I can say my vertex is 6 comma 4, which remember represents h and k. So now I'm going to plug that in. So I'll say y minus h, which is 6, squared equals 4 times my p, which in this case is negative 4. I want to write that in there. Times x minus 4. OK, so now what I need to do to write the standard form of the equation is I need to expand my binomial squared, which will produce a perfect square trinomial, as well as apply the distributive property across um, over here. So y minus 6 squared, it's going to be y squared minus 12y plus 36 equals 4 times negative 4 is 16. Um, so negative 16 times x is a negative 16x. And negative 16 times uh, 4 is going to be a positive 64. 
So now I need to isolate my x, so I'm going to subtract 64 on both sides. So I have y squared minus 12y. Um, 36, that's going to be 28. So that's going to be minus 28 equals a negative 16x. Now, to solve for x, I'm going to divide by negative 16. And then I'm going to write my x by itself, and I will reduce all the fractions here. So I have x equals a negative 1 16th y squared. Negative 12 over 16, that can be reduced down to uh, 3 fourths, a positive 3 fourths, positive 3 fourths y. And then also I can do here, uh, that could be reduced down to 7 fourths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write your uh, parabola from given the focus and the directrix into standard form. Thanks.